Star Trek 57, M23, take two. Star Trek Podcast. There are moments in time we wish we could travel back to. Memories. Pieces of life better lived in reverse. In those moments, tragic endings might rewind into joyful beginnings. Moments of loss into those of gains. I remember now, in a cloudy moment of extreme melancholy, my mother hung herself here in this place. And for all I've lived, all I've seen and done, I suppose this is the moment I've kept myself from remembering. This moment, I'm so powerless to reverse. Star Trek! All right. William! Alternate, alternate timeline. William Riker! He's my number one dad! <laughs> <laughs> he's my, you're my num, he's my number one dad! <laughs> William Riker! Is that, uh, was that, a, that imaginary? It kid? was Rascals, yes. Rascals was the episode where. Oh, that one. Yeah. Picard. Guinan, Ensign Rowe, and Keiko. Was oh, that it? was when he was like, look, number one. <laughs> <laughs> my number number one dad. He's my number one dad. Why is everyone looking at me like that? Uh, all well, right. Well, what were you thinking of, Jesse? Uh, when like when there was that episode where like Riker's having a weird hallucination. Oh, and yeah. Oh, and yeah. he is that kid. Yeah. His Elliot? Son. No, no, Elliot is... Why would you say that? <laughs> why would you say that? Elliot is uh, Troy's son. Oh, right. That's right. Riker's uh, strange alien kid I with knew the that. whole Romulan business and the future. I just wanted to say Elliot. Uh, the kid that plays young Picard on the Picard show all has like that funny sort of Picard voice. Where he's yeah. Like, lol, lol. <laughs> he's like, Mamon. 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 Wait, Mamon. Mamon? Isn't that mean? Mamar? Mamar? No, I think in Spanish, Mamon means like sucker or something like that. Someone who so, someone who in one Spanish. Who, what is in Spanish? What about Culebra, French? Man. And one who sucks. One who sucks. One who <laughs> what? sucks. Uh, one who sucks. Culebra. It either means it either means snake or cobra. I don't know which, but it means. All right. I'm gonna go with cobra. Can, can we get? Can we at least get to the the the, the, the podcast? All right. I was, All right. I was trying to get there. We're the, required the, by talking, law. I started talking about Picard. The by FC, law. The FCC requires. In the bylaws. In the bylaws. By law. My number mm. one dad. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> it's got Star Trek is the podcast. We're talking about Picard. That we're doing. Uh, it is episode 129 of the It's Got Star Trek podcast. 129. And we are discussing uh, Star Trek Picard season two, episode nine. Well, Do you know what that makes this episode? 69, dude. No, it makes it the pet. <laughs> <laughs> How does it make it? It makes it the penultimate episode. Oh, penultimate. Oh, penultimate. The, oh yeah. Because there's only one I, more. I, I keep forgetting right. that word, penultimate, and every time I hear it, I'm like, oh, yeah, that word. I like that word. I had a professor it's that such a, use that. It's a weird word to have. Talking about the penultimate measure of the piece. Mm. What was he all about that? What was the great about the penultimate? I, it was... Well, is, it, is it that moment right before the release of that probably, ultimate measure? It's probably right when you get a bunch of yeah, right before bunch you of chaos. Hit, the, hit the end. It's of that piece. It, it's a strange it's word. It's a strange dominant pedal point or some concept shit. to have a word for. But I don't know. It's probably there's probably some really good reason for it that involves Latin or something. I don't know. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> right. One of those. One of them languages. <laughs> All right. Okay. So now that we've done the podcast identification, Dan, we can return. Oh yeah, for the, to the FCC. We can do now the previously scheduled. Identify Dan. Uh, we have to. We have to. We have to identify one, our podcast. Dan identification. Dad. We have to identify our podcast at the top of the hour as per FCC. Should we rules. identify our names? Yes. Are we following FCC rules? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yes, that's right. We, I hate, I hate we assiduously guys. follow the, the, the many FCC the, I, the, I the rules the FCC guys. has promulgated oh, for man. the internet. 
Uh, yeah, I'm Patrick. That's Dan, and that's Jesse. I'm pointing at Allegedly. them, so you can. T- and this is my number one dad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's childish, but I don't. I can't get enough of it. I put my hand out as if like someone was going to see that. It's childish in both it. yeah. both senses of the of the term. Not churlish. Is it's it not churlish. No. Churlish. Now, if you kept doing it. What, and Jesse and I were getting aggravated. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it may morph into a churlish, a churlishness a- action. Churlish, but right now it's whimsically max. childish. Churlish so, to the max. Episode one twenty nine. Yes. Yeah. Well, season two. Yeah. We've, wait, season two, episode nine. Yeah, but also yeah, we've, episode one twenty nine. Yeah, we've discussed. Oh, we that. already did that. Well, we we didn't we didn't point out the fact, 69, the very dude. uninteresting, banal fact that currently. <laughs> Currently, in this part of the season, the uh, the episode numbers are are matching up well with our podcast. Numbers. Actually, throughout the entire episode eight, no, no, not the entire because Picard and remember when we did two episodes a week because Picard oh, and Discovery right. were fucked overlapping. It, all up. it fucking Paramount Plus, but fucked it also it all up. but it also aligned it. it. It allowed it for this moment right here. Except it depends. You know, one twenty nine is not the same as nine. Paramount yeah. minus. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Damn, bro. That's pretty harsh, man. Paramount neutral. Paramount neutral. All right. So Uh, so there's only one more Picard and... One more Picard. At the same time, there's a... I believe yes. A, next a whole week. new show. Oh a whole gosh, new television. Why program. do they keep doing even this? Ready Strange for it. new world. Why do they keep doing this? I'm not a fan I'm of this. Over, why does the overlap? world do things to me? Don't they know we're trying to do a podcast here? Yeah. First of all, that's point number one for for uh, Star yeah. Trek fan yeah, art, number one and number official two. art for fan, Star Trek uh, fan creators, fan art. Uh, you know, the Chart. ancillary Chart. creators, ancillary, ancillary, whatever your preference. Hmm. Um, Aluminium. It's complicated. <laughs> it's, 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 I love having all this Star Trek. But it's, it's like all this extra. It's extra work. However, even even just from an audience perspective, uh, now that we've gone through it with uh, Discovery and Picard, and soon it's going to be Picard and Strange New Worlds. I I wish they would give the finale of the previous show some breathing room before yeah. the. The, the the premiere of the yeah, next let us, one. Let us let us bake on. Let us watch, like, simmer in it for a bit. Yeah, really. I said I was going to say bake on it. That doesn't make sense. Simmer. That's why they say simmer because baking on a it, better word. Baking yeah. on it makes no fucking sense. It means you're going to like. It means you're going to die. Smoke weed or something. Yeah, you're going to bake. Get, on it. Well, yeah. get, get baked. Get baked. Get baked. I'm going to bake I'm on gonna it. Bake right? on I don't know. It. You know, ever, now that you mentioned that, I can't think of a reason why baking on it wouldn't be fine. <laughs> well, you're simmer still yeah, developing fine. in the heat and fluffing yeah, but, up. And but I think when you bake, developing some gluten glutinous structure, perhaps. I think the. <laughs> You, while that is correct, I think the implication for baking <laughs> is that it gets hotter and hotter, whereas simmering, you're just kind of like chilling. Baking there. does not get hotter and hotter. You're you chilling while you're simmering. <laughs> baking, you baking set the, you set the oven at a temperature, you yeah, put but, a water pan but, in there. If you're baking bread, I should well, say. Well, of course, it does. I'm no, I know you don't change the temperature. I don't know what happens if you're baking but ziti. But if you're, if you're baking... If you're making some baked ziti. The don't. point is, is if you're baking, you're always getting hotter or getting... or Same heatness or hotter. getting too... A hot I get to what she's saying. So in other words, simmering. you preheat the oven, you put in something that's cool or at yeah, room temperature and it, warms up. and it warms up whereas simmering the implication is is that something is already <laughs> the already the at sauce. the simmering simmering is just continuing yeah secrets in the sauce fried green tomatoes one of these days man we're doing you this motherfuckers again. are going to do a fun You're podcast talking about simmering with me the sauce man about I, I think fried, fried, green green to, fried green tomatoes is fine i don't know why you have your I bug do, up your ass about it though. i don't have a bug up my <laughs> ass i mean it's good but you just like you, you think it's the greatest when was the last time you, you think saw it's fried the best thing you think fried green tomatoes are the best thing since sliced bread okay i want to first of all i want to do two podcasts one on the movie fried green tomatoes and one where we make fried and green one where tomatoes. we make fried green yeah. tomatoes uh, and all, maybe we should maybe read we the book. Maybe we could do a book club. Sandwiches. I I had a I I had a fried green tomato once. It was good. There was that Simpsons, I do enjoy fried. There green was a tomatoes. Simpsons great, quote yeah. about like um, um my favorite Man- book. Manjula. My yeah, she said my favorite book, uh, food and movie were all fried green tomatoes or something. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, I haven't read the book. Considered apu. But I am I am a fan and supporter of the movie of the. Speaking film. of books, have you ever read Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? I have the book. I haven't read it yet. Mm. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> I, I did that so we would remind ourselves how off topic we've become. Yeah. <laughs> well, well done, Dan. Well done, Dan. Well done. Yeah. You've served your purpose. You can. I can go you now. You can go now. He Jesse is, and I will the podcast referee. take care of the rest. Okay. Star Trek do, do, Picard. Do, 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 um, he's walking away. Do, do, do. What did you think of this Oi. penultimate episode? I, so I wanted to. Okay, okay. Dan's Dan's left. No, no, he's Ka-chunk. back. He's opening. Uh, hey. do, 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 do. 
Hey guys. Hey, why did you make so much noise walking yeah. around? And why? And why didn't you open the door? Why did you only open the uh, the, the the rusty gate in the yard? <laughs> <laughs> I always um, wanted to go pet that. Ex- that I think we, that we need to develop some new terms as we're discussing Star Trek because we are media people, uh, ostensibly. We need to influence the culture. I think uh, Dan has already done a good job influencing the culture with his coining of the phrase uh, BQ. And more recently, BQ Roddy. BQ Roddy. BQ Roddy, which, which is a nice that's a very, variation. Yeah. yeah. I feel stronger about BQ Roddy because it's like, it's like, it's like Scar Joe. No, not Scar Joe, because that's one person. It's like a, a, a Flecka Lopez or what is it? Low, low Fleck? <laughs> yes, it's a, per- low, it's a person. Ben- Benefer. Person- Benefer. <laughs> no, it was Low Fleck. <laughs> Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez. It's a personamento. All right. Person- so amento. I think like what, a what we will, what we will, be, what we will ah, attempt to man. coin this week um, ah. is a rubric, a rubric, a, a, a Stanley uh, rubric. Stanley rubric. <laughs> a Sorry. structure. I had the same a, thought. A structure resist, for discussing slower. this episode or any episode. I think this could apply to any Star Trek episode. And, and the structure that I've developed is called Silly or Billy. Now, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh man! So you can you can mention if something if you think something's silly, or you know you know a little right. bit out there, and then it, you ca- classify it as silly. If it's cool and interesting, you Billy. classify it as Billy. Okay, right? Billy. So right. for example, wouldn't it be Billy? Right. So if we're just well, Bill, let's, we'll workshop it more. Let's start now, try it out, <laughs> and then we can workshop it afterwards. Really? Uh, so, for <laughs> for example, uh, which scene would you want to talk about and and apply the silly or Billy uh, rubric to? The fact that the um the La Serena zoom was the superest one yet in this ah, episode. I thought oh, when, the, when the episode started because I remember you <laughs> yeah. mentioned that last week that you're like every time they load show the La Serena, it's the zoom oh, shot like, throughout it, the whole fucking. It thing. was there was a little more to it. This, like each yeah. time, like each time there's a little more to yeah, it. Yeah, like, this different time, angles like, and stuff. Like, yeah. And yeah, this and was like, like wait a minute, what, what are they doing? Oh, it's I'll that would, ship again. Yeah, in my book, side by side comparison with that in the first time. In my book, that's a Billy. That's a Billy. I'll go Billy. I'm pretty Billy with that. How about? And this might be a tricky one. How about people shooting at a hologram, a hologram oh, of Elnor? Yeah, what was up mm. with that? The reason why I, th- I say this is complicated is from my own perspective. The hologram of Elnor going around kicking ass makes sense to me. That's awesome. That's Billy. Yeah, the, the totally, people, the totally. people shooting back at it as a way to defeat the hologram. I found that a little silly. Well, how? Did, <laughs> whoa, whoa, it's that like was a straight up silly. It's depending Billy. on the perspective, that was you're a proper using. silly Billy because it was a little of both. Well, depending on which way you're looking, it's something different. Now I forget they did they did uh, get rid of. El- oh, she used her tentacle thing. BQ yeah. BQ Rod, she, she just disrupted his uh, she disrupted hollow, his phase emitter. His, hollow, his, hollow his emitter. So she was yeah, able to his hollow his portable right. emitter. So I guess now did we did we we didn't even see any lasers hit hit him? So we don't know if that would work because I don't think it. Well, works. they weren't even shooting lasers; they, they were, were shooting, shooting bullets. bullets. Oh yeah, bullets. Twenty uh, first con- century conventional. Bullets. 2024, right. kind of probably right. Yeah, M16s. And yeah, the, I mean it is weird though because if you can, dads, if you can beat, if millimeters. you can, if you can beat someone up with a holographic sword, then why couldn't the reverse? No, because. Because, because why, the hologram is technology. Yeah, Those guys were yeah, yeah, you would want to disrupt you know, the emitter. Like right. if they were all aiming for his portable emitter. No, that makes that makes sense because it's not like it's a hologram. So the hologram can be made solid enough, solid enough to hurt you. But yeah. if you if you chop a hologram in half, it can just reform itself if it wanted to. Like if you took a, a giant axe and like, what would happen uh, if you took a giant gu- guillotine, 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 and 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 and, sh- and chopped off a hologram's arm? Would it just like go and flip away and then just reappear back in the emitter? You know what I mean? Know what I mean? <laughs> know what I mean? <laughs> know what I mean what would happen if you chopped off the arm with the emitter on it at the shoulder so the emitter part fell off? The whole body would just disappear. But the and emitter then the part doesn't would... have to because that's not how the physics of what if you, holograms What if you cut off it your depends nose on the program. despite your well, face? If you're playing a program in which the hologram character is designed to be a combatant in a fight, I'm saying then we... it may respond in the ways you describe. But a, a hologram designed for self-defense presumably would not build in weaknesses into its program like, well, if they hit me with the axe, then oh, so to you... be fair, I'm done for. Well, okay. But I'm saying, how would it reform? Would it just stop the axe or would the arm fall off and then reform itself? I think, that, I think, it would, I think no, I, I don't think it would... I, I, That's I, like I choose, Terminator 2. I choose an alternative, which is it would just go through like uh, going through a, a projected... Like lights. Anything, you know? It would just, but how would the 
we've yeah. seen that on Star Trek like plenty of times. Robert have, Picardo. If he, if, like, well, Robert Picardo. Did anything like this ever happen to Robert Picardo? D- every day. He's a every fucking home. And sometimes dude. it happened to his character, but, the Doctor. <laughs> <and Roger. laughs> Look, if you didn't know, if you did a sword through the arm, then yes, it would just kind of stay there in place. But if yeah. you did a guillotine, where there was a big blade in between the but shoulder, how are you going to hold him in the guillotine? The guillotine's a machine. You got to hold the person in place. Because I don't know. Because you break. I the, know you're talking about hypotheticals, but you, we, we're, it, we're deep, deep. Okay, you, into the hypothetical you, 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 universe. You plant. You plant a virus in the in the hollow oh, emitter. No, no, you plant a, like they did in Independence Day. You plant a but, virus, but, but not like they did in uh, Star Trek: I Borg. No, not like that. Uh, not like that, but like the Independence Day uh, version. Well, <laughs> that would have been that would have been interesting. Yeah, they do that and decide whether or not <laughs> they assassinate all the Borg leaders or whatever. No, it's nothing See, like that. See, that's silly. That is silly. That's no, not silly. Billy. Okay, so what if you planted a <laughs> what if you planted a virus? Oh, this, so I'm going to stop using that. What if you just made it so a that the virus. hollow emitter um, couldn't re- couldn't 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, you mean if you what you're trying to say is what if you programmed absurd limitations into your self defense program? Yeah, I can't remember what your uh, argument was. We have if you oh yeah, how would you hold them in place? Like for some reason you It's c- just a picture. If you made a it's synthetic like a, bodyguard that had a bunch of weaknesses. Okay, if you held if you held the, the hollow emitter in place and put their arm through a guillotine. <laughs> okay. All right. So okay. I'm gonna grab right. you by the emitter. Okay, oh, that's silly a, Billy. Okay, regardless silly of the out, outcome anyway, regardless of the outcome, yeah, okay, fine. It is kind of, it is pretty, it is pretty silly. Mainly demonstrating the utility or potential utility Mm -hmm. of the silly Billy uh, mode of uh, cinema critique. That would have been funny though if I did use this as an opportunity to insert the iBorg reference into this episode. I thought you were, and I thought you were conspicuously Uh, not mentioning it because you've been mentioning it so much this entire season. Well, you know. I thought this week you were, you were like, oh, it's the penultimate episode of (laughs) Star Trek Picard season two. Uh, I'm going to pull a twist and and mention Independence Day instead of iBorg. Penultimate yeah, twist. For new listeners, which, by the way, what's what's wrong with you? Don't be a new listener on episode nine. Of yeah, you might as well turn program. it off now. But if you are, we do, uh, while while we might uh, uh, be confused show? by it, but if you are uh, such a person, we do welcome you. Infinite diversity and infinite combinations and all that. Hmm. But if you're a new listener, this is a this has been a bugaboo of Dan's, is that he, uh, since the first episode of Picard, I think maybe the first episode, you've been thinking that this is going to somehow center on Captain Picard nearly committing genocide against the Borg right. in TNG's iBorg and the fact with that, a virus. Right, and the, the whole... the whole, He is the Borg Slayer. And the whole reason that everything changes, like he would have gone in another direction had there been a difference in the timeline, and that would have retroactively caused the past to become the Confederate, see, Confederate or the future. No, the future at that point, it was the future. Yeah, so, so what it was is the future of the Confederacy, what it was is... You mean our future or Picard's and Picard's, future? No, 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 it was Picard's present. At the beginning, when the Picard went to the Confederates... Confederates? Confe- Confederation. Yeah. Confederation. It was our future, but Picard's alternate present. Yeah, so, right, so that Confederation... Alternate <laughs> present, uh, you know, like when you go to an office yes. gift exchange, yes, yes, and yes. somebody has already given right. out so a copy of the Lord of the Rings, That's so you're so like, funny. oh, I can't give the Lord of the Rings because somebody else has given the Lord know, of the Rings. it's so funny. So you have the backup gift. It's so funny. Which is like a mug... <laughs> It's really funny. It says world's most hilarious colleague. Yes, I agree. You know that 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 mug you can so get the, conf- the B Dalton. The, the con- There's no hilarious. <sighs> the Confederate con- B Dalton. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Why are you looking at me like that? When was Somebody the last time what? anybody was able to shop at a B? Oh my god. I don't know. I, don't know. I was going to try to say that the Confederation was a direct result of Picard. What if he had taken the other choice and decided an I Borg to um um, to commit genocide. Well, you Gen- see, that's genocide, probably what, that's genocide probably what happened virus. in that timeline was because he's like the Borg Slayer, so he probably actually did that. Yeah, yeah right. So yeah. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's, that's right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's you're, that's Jesse, you say, Jesse agrees with me. <laughs> All right. Let it be known. All right. All right. Well, that would have been super clever, though, had I done what you suggested. But what I, what I was really doing is, is trying been. to trick you into suggesting that. So I actually won because now you're suggesting it too. Yeah. So, did you trick me? So I spent it like I assimilated you. Resistance is futile. Another tip for new listeners is is Dan often uh, views and frames things in terms of winning and losing when it comes to <laughs> subjective opinions. <laughs> There is only. Well, um, I, I don't. I don't. I don't say subjective things are true or false, but they can be won or lost. Yeah. Yes. 
That's that's oddly poetic (laughs) and philosophical. Uh, All right. So we're, uh, you know, 18 minutes into the podcast. This guy's keeping score. This guy's keeping score. And we've discussed very little of the card. Um, Oh, so we 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 have determined some silly and some Billy. Well, well, we have to be careful that we don't run out of things to say because this week we have to. We have to start saying We have to do pod. We did a podcast on a different day. We are recording a night early. Yeah. We have not watched the program as often as we, Mm. we normally would. I only watched it once. Uh, yeah, me too. That's we, a fr- I, didn't, I, I didn't even take notes. I only yeah, yeah uh-huh. I only watched it once. I'm noteless again it's swirling for the about. second week in a row. It's swirling about. I got, about I got notes, beans. but I got lots of bean. thoughts in my mind bone. I got my bone. Got, yeah, man, my bean bone is. Well, I got notes, but my, I had the less. Strangely enough, I have less notes than I usually have. So I don't think that's strange at all. <laughs> I mean, it's but you. <laughs> I mean, it would, I guess it would make sense, but why would I have more notes the second time around, you know? I don't take notes on the first time. Okay, we're getting yeah, off track yeah, again. Yeah, that's, I, this is for an extra. Jesse, how about this? We've got a couple minutes before you know, we have to go to our first break. What? We haven't even started. Jesse. Jesse. Oh, and Jesse's got the stylophone, which yeah. is another... Another thing adding into it. Uh, Jesse, why don't you uh, why don't you make one of uh, your observations, and then we can discuss that briefly, and then head into break. Hmm. <laughs> There's so many choices out there. You can pick any one of them. Don't get bogged down by well, the tragedy of options. I mean, the way this this whole episode worked was was it was the penultimate episode, so lots of things kind of came to fruition. Fruition is maybe a word yeah. for some things. Some, Tying up some, some things loose ends. we finally get to like Picard's finally willing to uh, re- reach down into like those memories that are bad. He's but he's but all of us, you know, it's. How many, it, it's how, necessary that he does that, so he does it, and and you know things happen. Could, could you uh, say that the this, Gerardi and and the and the BQ, you know, make mm-hmm. peace, and they they mm-hmm. they come to this funny understanding, and you get a a, a whole new BQ Gerardi, mm-hmm. another that's, resolution that's going to make this whole make a whole new Borg that must be that thing that we see at the in the first episode. Would you say that the penultimate has its own often has its own climax like the penultimate climax yeah, and then the climax of. climax because there, there were climaxes of sorts as you just yeah. described setting everything episode. up for that last bit yeah. and giving us some it's, little mystery it's, bits. It's a whole lot of mystery stuff bits. and like you know have to be then, two Renés one yeah. dead one living. Exactly yeah, that right. was what I, yeah. What the they, fuck does that mean? They did that on purpose. Like the all of a sudden the Borg queen has this like helpful knowledge. I'm, it's like, I'm okay. It's I'm, this. It's this and this. It's like okay. Well, it's another fucking riddle. So. I'll be interested to see how it's resolved, and I don't think it's going to be this. But I immediately thought, Picard's all like, "No way." I, I immediately thought they're like, "Oh, okay." So this Rene Picard has to survive. But wasn't his nephew called Rene Picard, mm. the uh, one who died? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they're just like, "Yeah, tough luck. You don't get to fix that timeline. Your yeah. brother and your nephew are dead, and they have to be dead for everything to work out." Probably. I don't think that's what they meant. But that's that what, be, that's what I thought if about. It, if it was, yeah. You didn't see his brother in any of those flashbacks. No, they ref- they referenced him though. They did yeah. mention he was off at boarding school. Yeah, yeah. Renee, yeah. he was at, off at boarding. Renee school. Picard was really? portrayed by David Tristan Tristan Birkin in Family, and by Christopher James Miller in Star Trek Generations. Uh, and wasn't he in Family? wasn't Wasn't that the same kid who played uh, the Picard in Rascals? So he played Renee Picard and Jean Luc in Rascals. I don't know, David Tristan. Mm. David, Tr- I think that might be the same person who does that that quote that you like so much. Oh yeah, yeah, it is. That is. Whoa, that is that dude. <laughs> My number one dad. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm quite pleased by that. Uh, I know our audience is frequently one of our most frequently requested things is to have Dan uh, do Alf. Yep. Uh, it works best when it's organic. Uh, when it just sort of emerges organically. Hey, and- Willie! <laughs> my number one dad! <laughs> uh, my number one cat! <laughs> <laughs> and so at some point, we might do a highlight reel of all the times that uh, Dan has done Alf, which he does very well. It's usually variations on the, those two lines. He just, <laughs> hey, Willie, <laughs> and yeah. got any cat? <laughs> got, got any cat? <laughs> you want to hear a highlight reel of just Dan doing that for like an hour? He was born in 1977. He's older than us. Alf? David Burke. No, Alf. Alf. When was Alf born? I don't know. No, we may uh, never know. On Melmac? Uh, that's where. Uh, that's the where. Gordon, Gordon Shumway is yeah, his name. Gordon Shumway from Melmac. When was Gordon Alien life form? Who was Shumway born in 77? Born. When was Gordon Shumway born? Uh, Tristan Flabbergast was oh, born really? in. Uh, okay. In, he's the one who played Picard he's, in that Renee. Dude's old. He's old, older than me. So according to the Mel, the Melmacian calendar, he was born on the 28th of Nathanganger. But is that, this on the Melmac wik- wiki? But this um this equivalates to... Uh, equivalates. Equi- this is equivalent is this on, to... Is, is this on Melmac Alpha? Is this on Melmac, Melmac. Al- Melmac Alpha.com? Alf.fandom. 
Whoa. Why didn't they call it Melmac Alpha? Maybe that's a different company. Who knew? They Maybe should call it Mel. Can we start Melmac Alpha? I th- there I might think be Dan one. Already started. But look, at this October twenty eighth night. One to- what? The- the- October. <sighs> Beaver to beaver to beaver. Twenty eighth of Narthinganger is <laughs> wait, 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 what is that a is that a Melmachian yes, Narthinganger? And yes, and he's born on October twenty eighth, seventeen fifty six. Uh, so you're saying Melmac Alpha? Yeah, like memory alpha. Melmac oh that's not a there's Alpha Unlimited. It's a, well it's sort of a pun. Sort yeah, I know. Star Trek pun. I know, it's pretty funny. This we could a start Star Trek a, podcast. Melmac. Yeah, we could start that. We could start that. We should yeah. do that. I, th- I, think, I think you're going to start. I think some so, percentage of the audience will have enjoyed that. So, I can see the joke. gears turning. So the reason we're talking about all this stuff is because we're afraid we'll run out of things to say. No, so. you are afraid <laughs> we're going to run out of this? things to say. We're not. And, and anyway, we've got Jesse on the style. I'm not convinced we've got a, said that much. Already. Jesse's got a stylophone, stylophone. Uh, that he can always pop in and as necessary. We can pretend we're in some sort of Atari. <laughs> Yeah, you know, which which Kinda which like uh, evokes both visions of the future and the past simultaneously, what? which is, leads to a mental schism. It's like, look out! It's like whenever you see, uh, you know, in uh, Star Wars, you see all their displays. Star or... Wars, what's that? Oh, Star Trek. Oh, Star Trek. Star I'm, Trek. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I meant Star minute, Trek. For a minute there, I thought you were saying it wrong. I, I'm sorry. I don't know what. That's that stupid. Star, they should, why don't, Star. I'm surprised Re- that they didn't. Re- call, I'm sorry. I'm surprised they didn't call that the, the Star Wars or anything. Star Re- they should have called one of the Star Trek Star Wars. Yeah, because it's such a cool, it's such a cool name. Well, <laughs> anyways, Star movies, Wars. movies from the 70s. Wars is better than Star Wars. So it's <laughs> sci-fi movies from the late 70s, early 80s look like Atari, which is like totally. Yeah, fucked we mean like up. Logan's Run. Yeah, I still uh, need to see that. Whack, I hear it's crazy. Yeah, it is. Logan's Run is great. Uh, yes, all right. Yes. So, uh, w- we talked about absolutely nothing. It's, we talked a little bit about It's got old movies. Jesse, Jesse made a very important point. Oh, yes, he did. Which is that this episode did tie up or, or, or resolve or essentially resolve. Uh, a few different plot lines. Uh, even seemingly the Rios situation. He's, it, he it, sort of said goodbye to that lady. And the Seven situation well, where, where she, she yeah, had to endure, you know, right. kind of returning to her Borg, part Borg form. Right. Uh, Rafi, Borg. Rafi had to have a sort of some closure, even though it was with holographic Elnor. She had some closure. So Holographic Elnor still has real Elnor's memories. Yeah. Even his or At least some memories. of them, which is, I don't know. Some is that his, silly or Billy? Final... What do you think? Uh, silly or Billy well, for the hologram to have the memory? Memories. I'm going with the Billy. dying I'm, gasp I'm memories. Going with Billy. Yeah, I think the whole idea that a holograph can like, like it, the whole idea that the La Serena turns everybody who comes in there into a holograph and puts it in its databanks. Yeah. That's 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 pretty silly. I mean, it's, it's a little creepy. That is it's a little creepy, <laughs> right? There's an aspect of Billy to it, but overall, it's pretty silly because it's creepy. Yeah, it's creepy as fuck. Like, Billy was when it was just. Uh, when it was just Rios and different versions of Rios. Yeah, that, that was bad. That was yeah. badass. But like, if it's just like, oh, well, I'll dial up a, a goofy Picard and a, a, I mean, that's a, a Raffy that's all that's a serious that's a serious breach of privacy. But, yeah. but I mean, that's privacy because you don't just get what they look like; you get everything but, about them. So you get yes. their so you can just so you so anyone who walks in La Serena, they can find out my innermost secrets and start you blackmailing me with them. Are all ships like that in the future, or is it just La Serena? Are you suggesting special... that you have secrets that would be blackmail worthy? I mean, maybe I don't want people to know like what kind of crazy stuff I did when I was young or something. Uh, I, I, you didn't do anything. Think it's, I think it's it. important to point out for someone head cannon purposes. Someone who, someone who cared more. I for was head, there. For head, you were no, you I was do. there. I saw the you things didn't do you did. Anything bad. Uh, this technically is not the standard universe La Serena. It is the Confederation La Serena. Oh, so maybe they and there are already that. were some a few minor differences with this ship uh, um, because it's from the Confederation. So you could argue surveilly. that they were even surprised because I think um, uh, Girardi seemed a little bit surprised almost that this it's was happening. More, it's got more cookies. Uh, so maybe that's a feature of Confederation ships that they uh, make holograms of you for gross sexual okay. purposes or no I, I can i can i'm fine I'm, i don't need we to did ar- it. i don't need to argue that point because it, it it's there more the like the terran it just seems so fucked up all right how about is this? this standard issue for most ships even so it seems like only super black ops ships would still have it well but... and the la serena is not even a federation ship or yeah. a confederation ship i mean it sort of is a confederation ship in the confederation timeline but in the in the federation timeline i don't believe it's a i mean it's a federation ship i believe but not it's a federation flagship it's not a federation flagship it's, it's a, not a starfleet it's not a starfleet ship, ship. Yeah. it is a federation right. sure flagged fully, fully licensed ship. yeah so it seems unlikely that they would have it okay. but that, you know who that, knows what goes on that crazy confederation okay. world who knows all right let's take a break mm. and when we get back 
Let's talk about Star Trek Picard. <laughs> All right. We will be right back. I guess what? What? We're back. No way. We're totally back. In DS9? <laughs> yes. They would have, if they had something like that on DS9, if they had the, um, the, 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 the auto holo, auto, auto, auto hologram, auto, auto holo scanner. If they had DS9, they would make a point Hi, of it. Hi, my name is Auto Hologram. Kira would be like, Kira would be like, I love this thing. It lets me peer into everybody's mind and do awful things. You I know? don't think Kira would be into that. In, in, uh, mirror in Mirror DS. Oh, Mirror DS. Oh, mirror, 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 I didn't mirror, catch mirror, that. All right, yeah. you're talking about Intendant. Yeah, Nerese, Kira no. Nerese. Intend- no. Yeah. Okay, that's Nintendo. a different story. Anyways, but mm. I, I said I was going to drop it, and so I'll, I'll drop it. It's okay. fine. Uh, it's fine. I'm into it. How about boy. we talk? about one of the, the the main thrusts of this story was uh, uh they've set it up in an action framework in that uh the board queen and her new army of dispense dis, dis, uh, dispensable what's the term what's dispensable? the word dispensable dispensable no that doesn't uh, sound right mercenaries what are you talking yeah mer- are you talking about mercenaries they're they're, yeah. they're board Expen- people expendable expendable that's oh, like, the it is. like the movie like the movie with the guys expendable dispensable like the movie so the board queen despicable i think is what it oh shit dude. Uh, she's got her army of people uh and uh soong is there adam soong often wrong i hate that guy uh yeah getting more and more maniacal yeah um so they've set that all up as an action sequence and which i thought worked quite well it was interesting and tense um uh, uh and oh side comment i did like that all this, all the set design in this episode was on the on the one hand super mo- like sophisticated and modern mm. and well done, but on the other hand, which I found totally Billy, mm. <laughs> was, totally Billy, it was very Star Trek. It looked like a Star mm. Trek set, like the way they organized the mm. barrels and the you know, it, yeah, it, it, it was did. it was it looked like a TNG set, right. but totally. upgraded yeah. just with. For high definition. I'm wondering how much... They made a very elaborate like set in, a, in just a, on a soundstage. Yeah. Like, but it all comes... Oh, my point is, is it all... The, well the, the main thrust is Picard opening up this... Literally opening up this last door to his psyche. Yeah, because they he kind of repeated... To resolve that story. He kind, they kind of repeated stuff they talked about just two episodes prior. There was they were, He was like talking about how his dad says there's a thousand ways to die. He was talking about there's the basement. Thinking, you already... You already he already said that like two episodes ago. He yeah. also already said that you weren't. We knew already from two episodes ago that he wasn't allowed to go into the basement. But this so, is resolving yes. like that one little bit at the end, where, right? Like, the you know the Romulan ladies all like, wait, there's something else, right? So it was all a build up to that point, I guess. I can't remember who he told if he told uh, Talon, but Talon. I don't know. That's now, really which one of you did anybody? I was about to call her but, Tamarin. Did anybody Tamarin. guess that it was going to be Picard? Uh, Picard. Not only Picard's mother kills herself. Not only does she die, she kills I herself. I didn't and, really expect and, that. And, uh... and Picard is the one who walked in on her. Right. Right. That was pretty I dark. Didn't, I, I was expecting something dark to happen. And I'm, I'm. it's one of those things where when you see what happened, that Picard feels guilt because he let his mother out and she ended up killing herself. It all makes 100% sense. Yeah. Because yeah. I was talking about last episode and how I was basically saying... Um, that Picard feels really guilty, and is like, yeah. what for allowing your for for allowing your dad to lock her in the room or something? That's that's why you felt guilty because you didn't let her out yeah. or something. And then, but you made the point of like, well, yeah, you know, tra- uh, trauma can happen in in different kinds of ways, and people can experience it, especially like, yeah. in France. Especially in France, we all oh, know that. Man, I know. And you know, and so it was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. And then we we kind of were along the lines of of oh, it's because he didn't let her out of the room, and then it turns out it's much more specific. Yeah. And it, it's like he did let her out of the room, and I even thought, and so and so I, I and, and, and so there's a def- he had definitely has a reason to feel yeah. guilty. He definitely yeah. has. A, he's definitely there's no no argument. He's definitely at fault. He's, he's still he still <laughs> lives there. Yeah, right. He still lives there. He has yeah. to live yeah. in that house. So so like how buried is that in his shit? So if somebody, yeah. So if some, no wonder he's all fucking. So if some so if somebody it. wants to like some asshole wants to gatekeep guilt, uh, you know, so because some people like yeah. to do that, um, he definitely could be like, I got the key, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I I even I don't know if I mentioned it on the podcast, but I even allowed for the, the possibility key. that he he let her out and that that resulted in her uh, harming herself. But not I, I I don't know. I just wasn't I wasn't thinking like seeing your dead mother yeah. swinging yeah, that on was, a on a yeah, rope, that's wild which stuff. was intense. It was I didn't even notice it until I rewind. Re- re- 
rewinded it, rewound it. Actually, maybe I just wasn't looking at rewound. that point. But like when she was hanging, when it just showed her back, it showed the rope hanging down like it was the hair or yeah. something like that. It was like really kind of Rapunzel or something. Yeah, it was oh, kind of the whole thing was fucking. Yeah, it was pretty. And it was dark, uh, man. you know, no spoilers for Moon Knight, but uh, it happened to be in the same week that a, a lot of trauma in in that that show as well. And Marvel in general has been dealing with mm. trauma lately. Um, uh, so, and we've seen that in this season of Picard, and we've commented on that that there there's been trauma for seven trauma for Rafi and um, in season one, many of them were sort of uh, responding to their unresolved trauma in uh, maladaptive ways in this season. It's more like they've got their shit together a little bit better. They've found Mm. some support and family, but they haven't healed yet. And uh, Rafi seven Rios to a lesser extent, but Gerardi Picard, they're all, kind of reliving some traumas and resolving them through the Rios's trauma was more like in the first season. Yeah. I think his is more now. He he's, just, he's, he's all right. Now. He's just trying to sort out like, how do I hang out with this nice doctor yeah. and her pleasant son and, uh, do so without destroying the timeline. Right. <laughs> so, um, Picard, John Luke's mom. So she basically had a relapse. Mama? She, Mama. Mama, Mama. 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 she basically Mama. had, she basically had a re- <laughs> relapse right after uh, daddy Picard says like, you haven't had a relapse in a while. And then Dang. of course that night she has a relapse. So I don't uh, know. Did that trigger it or what? No, well, I don't think it triggered it. What I, what I, how I interpreted that was the, uh, and that, that I knew in this episode, when I saw that, I, that's when I gauged she was going to kill herself. So I did guess it about during this episode, but um, when, uh, when Picard, Senior uh, Maurice Picard, I believe is his name. We were all we were all like, "What's his name?" Maurice. Last week, um, I think it's Maurice Picard. Anyway, Picard Senior, when he's commenting to his wife how she's f- seemed more present and they haven't had any incidents lately, mm-hmm. and how great that is, and she gives him that look. That's I was like, "She's been thinking about uh, killing." Her, exactly. So. Yeah, she's going to kill herself because that's a common <laughs> thing when people have suicidal tendencies. Yeah, like, okay, they everything's they all can right calm now. down. They can even become happier mm-hmm. once they've made the decision internally they're like oh i'm gonna yeah. i'm gonna kill myself it's all it, sorted it out. relieves the pressure that they're feeling uh still it, happened pretty close together from when he said it though i think she it, actually killed well, herself i think that's how it works though uh, I, 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 mm. on all the suicide they're ready you know on all the reddit threads about suicide they're always like if you have reddit. a friend who's been depressed and all of a sudden is like hey how's it going everything's great they're like you call somebody yeah, else because they're, they're, well they're, that's but, happening tonight but 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 Maurice Picard, it's not like she said, I feel great. I feel great. My number one dad, Maurice dad. <laughs> she was You're like, my, my number one husband. Maurice dad, Maurice dad. Yes, exactly. Maurice dad asked her. That's the only thing is he asked her. He happened like, so was she planning well, to kill Well, he didn't. His name it, is uh, he, or he said, or he said to her, gonna, he I'm said not. to her, it's not like he says to he her every day, he, you he have had a relapse I don't in a while. Think he, I don't think he was asking her. He was well, commenting no, on the change okay, in her yes, behavior. You, okay, so, okay. He's baby, commenting. It is still a TV show. They, yeah, have okay. to, they have to convey Sorry. that information. Sorry, to I us. meant to say commenting. I meant to say commenting. So I guess you though know, it's so, just not so crazy. It's he happened to comment on it at the same time that she was having those relaptical feelings. I'm confused as to why that doesn't. <laughs> I, I'm confused as to why that doesn't make perfect sense in your mind. No, it, it, that's precisely when we, you would comment it uh, when somebody has changed their behavior, right? Like she has changed. She's. I'm going to kill myself. I'm feeling better. I'm going to kill myself on Tuesday. Well, and then the husband is like, "Whoa, I know, I, today has been great." I know, but he said it's been a while, so I ter- interpreted that to mean it's been like months or something. But you think it might have just been happened a couple of days? I, that's a fair point. Well, that's yeah, a fair point. It's not really worth me. No, I'm marking it down in the market. notebook. Damn it! I was hoping Dan that wouldn't has happen. made a fair so, point, but. But Dan has made a fair yes, point. It's not enough down. to overcome. He hasn't won My the idiocy. point yet. He hasn't won the point yet, but he has made one check mark here. So, fair point. So she was meant to have mental illness so she could play with hide and seek with Jean-Luc in the forbidden place to cause him a lifetime of trauma so he knew that he could escape soon that one time. Because Picard never went into the basement. The only reason he went into the basement is because his mom was freaking out and brought him into the basement. Why do you think and, fate has anything to do and, with and then he And then he had trauma his whole life and then, then they go back to this moment and so now he's able to escape soon because his mom killed herself that day. Yes, but if she hadn't killed herself, he probably wouldn't have had to be in the situation in the first place. You think so, though? 
maybe he wouldn't have been a Starfleet captain. You sure about that? Yeah. Maybe he would have gotten a, a posting on Starbase 85. Is it really, though? Working in a... Oh, you're talking about a, the butt fly. Uh, working as a, as what a is, short order cook in a gach. Does Maurice, gach, Maurice gach Picard, is, is he just a, a planter? Is he just a grape, grape guy? Or is he actually like a is, oh, is he like, is he a, a, a psychologist? No, I don't think he's a. They don't give that us a lot of just information. A construct of, of yeah, Picard's I think brain. that was just a construct. They don't seem to give us enough information. In 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 TNG, you get the he's impression just landowner. Well, you get the impression he's obsessed with growing wine, but it's not clear if it's it's if it's like his vocation or. And he's older at that point too. So is he? Like, I mean, you we we only interact. We mostly interact with figments of of, mm. of Picard Senior. I do like the fact that they 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 decide they want to have Picard. They could have fig mint wine that's made of figs and mint. It sounds delicious, actually. Yeah, so I'd it give does it a sound all right. Yeah, but uh, I I like when they 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 do pay attention to the very very specific nuances of the lore. In that they made the dramatic and creative decision that they wanted Picard to have this trauma of his mother committing suicide, his mother having mental illness, mm-hmm. committing suicide, and Picard feeling guilty for it because he, in in some small way or large way, um, helped facilitate her suicide. Mm-hmm. Uh, however, oh, however, this goes against <laughs> yeah, that's, that's this the- one very specific brief mm-hmm. m- reference to Picard previous ref, reference to Picard's mom on TNG um, where he sees that image of an elderly lady who's uh, all drinking some yeah. tea mm. and and he calls her maman or whatever or wasn't that his aunt or something no that was his mom, was his mom. Oh, and shit. so the problem is is they knew they had to retcon that so they mm. added that line of P- picard saying like you know i even used to pretend that she oh, was an old lady right. having tea and asking uh, for a chat God, to explain right, yeah. that and <laughs> it's on the one hand it's super overt that they they're just straight up the, the writers mm. are saying like look we know <laughs> we know no, she wasn't supposed to be dead, but it makes more sense for that her to be dead. That shit sucked. We so, made it better. So we're like, on the other hand, I thought it was elegant and worked from a psychological perspective. And now couldn't that answer everyone's question about saying like, oh, well, it, it wasn't consistent with canon like last week or whatever, the week before. When people were complaining that things weren't consistent with the with the canon of Star Trek. Um, people, yeah, but that's every, every week. You know every about, week. well, yeah, I know, but like. But, back, back, in, back in the 80s, that's people were doing the no, same no, thing. Yeah, right. But I'm saying you could say you could use this as a bit of evidence that doesn't that doesn't prove anything but in your favor to say well they took this into account so yeah. they probably took last week's into account too and decided that it wasn't a problem with canon we're, we're in fact you're wrong for thinking it's yeah. it's not canon the whole damn system is wrong yeah so you could say you could point to that and say like they got you're this piece you could it's like you're the one who's wrong with canon i tend not to worry about it i do laugh yeah, i don't I worry do, about I, do it find, I don't i really don't care i i do find it is funny though sometimes when uh uh you, you'll be on uh twitter or, or reddit or whatever and somebody will will have some critique that uh, all it demonstrates mm-hmm. is that they weren't paying attention to the show. Yeah. Um, and uh, it wouldn't be a problem if it was, you know, many people, you, know, you watch the show, you, you miss a little thing here, you miss a line or whatever. No big deal. Nobody's going to care unless you, you that missed line is the is the is the basis for this uh, multi-page <laughs> screed about how new Trek sucks small <laughs> right. because they didn't they didn't because there's a big thing last week where like they did, uh, uh, I guess Picard just doesn't have a brother in this timeline. I guess they're just ignoring his brother. And then a bunch of people immediately no, pointed out they're like it. no the mom mentioned that the brother's all you know nerdy and he's in boarding school mm-hmm. and they're like wow wow okay right. and then you see a lot of deleted right. we, just, <laughs> like, we deleted just discussed things. that because i wasn't paying attention <clears throat> so you know if you're going to make a a a violent critique please i wasn't violent watch the episode a few times get the facts straight because uh, yeah, yeah, yeah you're real. only gonna make a fool of yourself mm-hmm. you, know, you don't gotta like the show but if you're gonna engage in the critique there's gonna be a little bit of give and take Speaking of don't uh, be a dummy. Speaking of Maman and Puck Picard, Maman, is it, is it? It must be boring to have to play stupid games you don't want to play all the time. Like when 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 Picard's like, "What what game shall we play today, Mother?" You know, like uh, I, sh- I shouldn't do that voice. That's terrible. No, I quite enjoy that <laughs> voice. <laughs> so when he's like, "Maman, what 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 do we got to do today, Maman?" And she's Maman. like, has to think of a game for them to play. Like, aren't there times you just don't want to play a game? It like really sucks. Don't you hate it when you're when when somebody wants to play a fucking game and you're like, "I don't want to fucking run around and play some stupid tag or some shit." Yeah, I think he was just accommodating his, it's his called man versus mentally child. troubled mother. No, he wanted to play the game. Yeah. His mom was like, okay. And I was just yeah. commenting on the fact as, as like, point. as Good when point. like your mom wanted to play a game, like it must've been, it must've been difficult for my mom to like have to play a game with me. Why didn't they me. give him like an your Atari or something? 
They hey, hey, Jesse, uh, can, uh, uh, why, why don't you play the uh, the theme song to the Atari Picard, the Star Trek Picard season two Atari video game? Oh, I don't remember how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm just saying. That's like you're you're the Picard. You're it's like Pitfall, except you're you're young Picard, and you're all going through the tunnels. <laughs> I was I was just. I was just commenting on that, the fact that what if somebody wants to play a game with you and you don't want to play, but you have to do it to entertain them? Doesn't that that's yeah, really it's usually sucks. when you're engaging, you know, you're around a, 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 a small, a small person, a child. Yeah, right. I mean, what you're play. describing is quite relatable because a lot of people <laughs> have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> see, I, see, everyone should be like, yeah. I, I mean, you, one could argue it's so relatable. It's not worth as, mentioning. As to be, my, uh... <laughs> this did not be the most exciting topic of conversation. What do you what do you do? <laughs> what do you what do you do when you feel socially obligated to do something you'd rather not do? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> what do you do in that case? <laughs> so um What was that? <laughs> oh. I see. <laughs> how did we never found out all those all those Borg soldiers? How did they, how did, they didn't kill all the Borg soldiers. Where did they, all the Borg soldiers go? They beamed a bunch of them into the wall. That's true. But was that they, silly or Billy? Hmm. I've never seen anyone, there were some pretty br- moment, like brutal moments in this episode that I don't, yeah. don't think I've seen in Star Trek. For one, um, um, warp, um, transporting them into the wall. Was fucked yeah. up. Was fucked up. It was sort of like in that, uh, the episode with Jordy and Roe and that. Was that the, is that the one where no no it was the other guy I always get confused remember that that one crew member lady who's uh, like rematerializes halfway in the in the floor mm. oh yeah but that's not quite the same that's a, yeah that's a different thing. the other was um, when Seven and Raffi did that slow stab on that soldier mm-hmm. um, that's about as violent yeah, as Star Seven's Trek. like just pushing slow. down that's like that was basically oh, yeah, what happened yeah, in yeah. Saving Private Ryan except you yeah. didn't see the yeah, knife yeah. going into the guy shh, shh. <laughs> yeah, <right>. yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was fu- it was a little more fucked up, but that's about as 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 fucked up as Star Trek. There was some violent uh, head, head shots that were pretty bloody, you know. And I think it was a stab in the head at one point. It was pretty bloody. It was a shot in the arm. I was noticing they uh, seven got this, pretty beat up. This is pretty common now. They don't use uh, squibs or whatever for blood anymore. They were very. Yeah, they just uh, use real bullets. They just yeah. I was. <laughs> they just shoot the actors. I was. I was. Um going to say they just they just pay him they they use the you can notice the cg i felt and i don't know if this was in my head but i felt that for the most of the season the cgi has been pretty good like really good actually really really convincing i thought there was a few moments in this what are you laughing about (laughs) it's been pretty good it's been really good really really (laughs) good okay you can just say that next time no 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 be no no don't be sorry i was just saying like i uh, I, I like you man if you want to know you say funny stuff no no my point was is you should feel free to say exactly what you just said without me me i think but i think he does i think he he demonstrated that he already feels free to do it well he was just laughing at you calling him out on it may inhibit him in the future well, I was—I I mean, he was just laughing at me. Don't be, t- don't be a hater, Jesse. So you have a perfectly good reason to laugh at me. Uh, you know, but anyway, just, Dan, you were talking about the CGI is is super, why is, super great. Why is, why is he laughing at me? <laughs> what did I say? He'll never tell me what. I'll never know unless I You'll ask. You'll never know. Find out on our Patreon. Secret episodes where Jesse talks about why he laughs at Dan. I and found... Dan gets uncomfortable and angry about it. Patreon. It's angry. Hey, I found uh, some of... The, more this, like Patreon. I found some of the CGI Hate more us. noticeable in this episode. Even down to uh, some of the Chateau house uh, pan and scans. There or, were a couple... And some even, of that... It, some I, of the house like really looked... Even the house like looked CG. Some, some of that parts. wasn't... I, not even... It, probably wasn't even cg in some cases it was the moonlight style lighting i think that there's a high probability that for some of those scenes they were shooting day for night which is where you are shooting during the day but you put filters on the camera or post-production filters filters or both in order to make it look like night they did that shit in fucking california yeah because it's difficult the sun was like all over yeah so and that makes the lighting that can make the lighting look awkward and, and call out corners Doors and corners. Well, check doors and corners. We'll have to look into that. At some That's point. a reference to the expanse. Yeah. yeah okay. Doors and corners. I didn't get that reference. Oh, Both the television program. Television. Television. Both the television and, program. And the, and television and program. The, the Let me tell you what. There's this television the program page. called the expanse. Um, it's a good one. The book is. The books are good too. So, um, I speaking. Must, I must read those. Speaking of night and day. They did that thing in the movie where, like, they're fighting all night, and then all of a sudden, it's... What movie? it's Which movie? It, I'm, you know, the TV show. That's what TV shows now are. It's a long movie. I mean, the yeah. streaming the streaming media. 
The, whatever you, the, the thing, the yes. thing, the thing we watched, they do digitally the, encoded they, streaming media. They do the thing where they're we're fighting all night, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it's sunrise. You know, they did that in this where th- that happened when and they're all hanging out in some like park in the redwoods. They were it didn't um, look like France anymore. You know, yeah. that, that, <laughs> it's just straight up. I mean, I know they're filming no. it all in L.A. anyway, but or around that area, but it really looked like that's what a park looks like in in California. Yeah. Um. Well, I was that that was when they were in the, the Picard room when when soon came up, wasn't it? When it was suddenly it was suddenly sunrise. I yes, I know what you mean. Like yeah. it was all dark and moony, moony lighty. Yeah. And then I get, you know, and I know I mean it's not it's something that every TV show and movie like when they do that, it always comes out of nowhere. It's always like everything's dark and then the next shot, it, there's like sunrise out there. They do that in a lot. They did it's that. It's always darkest they, before the dawn. They did that in White Men Can't Jump. If you watch that, you'll see that that happened in that movie. Mm. Um, there's other movies too where it's like all dark and then huh. suddenly the next shot, it's I mean, the sun's coming up. Every single one. It never looks quite natural no matter where... I mean, were we supposed to believe that they were in the in the in the, the catacombs of Chateau Saint Picard for like uh, two I, hours? I, I, mean, I mean, I will, or maybe I, half I, an I, hour. I, I know it, sunrise is pretty quick. Well, okay. so you could say half I would, hour, I, well, half hour, well, maybe. Okay, okay. I I would argue that sunrise is is a subtle enough thing that it can be difficult to naturally portray in a condensed time format, right? Because it is a fairly brief, brief little window between between the the, the, the the sun being down and the sun being up. Liminal. It's just a comment. It's a liminal space. This is liminal. not a. This not. It's not a, time. This is not a comment on the show. It's when just the in, deer come out. In general, the veil between <laughs> the the living and the dead general, is, is more narrow. In general, it always elves, is kind of. In general, I'm talking about pluricons, the leprechauns. Not just Picard. In general, that it's always the case. But I will say that Sunrise does come up rather quickly. You know, so um, right. um, the the tentacles, her tentacles, mm-hmm. Borg tentacles. She's growing some tentacles. Yeah, yeah those looked a little. Yeah. Those looked a little janky CGI. A little, little janky CGI. Well, speaking of the beam, when, the, the people and, oh, beamed into the wall, I found was a little bit janky CGI. Oh yeah, that's right. You're gonna ask if that was silly or Billy. I found it a little silly. Oh, well, did you think the idea was silly? I was. <sighs> Uh, it's, I, it's a sneak idea and it's extra brutal. I, yeah, yeah. Do you think they did that on purpose, or do you think it just they just? Well, I mean, clearly, I think Seven did it on purpose. Mm-hmm. I, I, you don't think she just transported them away and they appeared randomly? In Seven's small? cold-hearted. It was it was maybe a little meaner than I would have expected. Uh, She's uh, got a thing against. Yeah, uh, I can. I'm I'm fine with that. She's she, got a thing. It, it didn't bother me. The CGI was a little janky. Didn't none, none of that really bothered me yeah. in a sense. Also, when when um, BQ Roddy was turning from a red dress into the Borg outfit, that yeah. when they when when she put her her Borg tentacles her on, nan- the, on, nanoprobes. The, on the nano on the nano probes and nano Borg nano, nanobots. Yeah, she nano Borged it, and um, mm. that looked a little weird too. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Was, I'm wondering if they run out of budget at the end of these things or something. I think. Oh, I just think some things are more difficult than others. Is yeah. the other thing that's going on there. Sometimes they could they could attempt to do less. Like they don't need the tentacle to go in like loop de loop circles and look all crazy. Yeah, you know? I I don't disagree. Yeah, I, I I don't disagree with that. Sometimes simpler can be better. Most of these things they don't particularly bother me. Uh, the, most of mostly most of the season was, was pretty good. You well, know, really cool. I was totally convinced. Pretty, that, now, now he's just pretty good. Before he was like, no, no, it was really fucking great. Pretty good. It was really great. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, no, the, I liked it. I liked. It. I right. think part of right. the the beaming the people into the wall, I thought maybe was a little bit. Uh, uh, this is a debatable point. I thought maybe it was a little bit out of character for Seven in particular. Um, it's not. Very, it's not all that Star Trek. But yeah, it's not very Star Trek. Yeah. But you could argue. But expanse. you could argue. I, that's, you can fully justify it. Uh, I thought the CGI was a little janky, which that doesn't bother me so much, except. I think if you were really going to do this, you would expect them to be like writhing a little bit and be like, ah, yeah, ah, ah, yeah. Or some like, kind of like flickery, like yeah. your your, they, they would, your pattern is is all flickery. But they'd be so all, they did, they'd they'd be all they, twitchy, or at least, yeah. Or and they didn't want to go that far, yeah. And so I think it it, it negatively impacted a little bit because it's like if you're going to do the beam them into the wall, that's like, have it be horrifying. That's like this guy I used to work with, who he's a really nice, he's a really nice guy and everything, but. He doesn't curse, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. But he, he doesn't would say, curse. But he would say kicks and giggles. I did it for kicks and giggles. Uh, and like, instead of shits and giggles? Shits and giggles. And all I could think of is like, there's so many, you have so many. I've, alt- I've heard grins and giggles. Really? That's oh, interesting. I don't like See, that either. Maybe, kicks. Ma- yeah, maybe. It's, it sounds so. But grins and giggles is. Grins. Gr- grins and giggles is in some ways. Uh, more upsetting, yeah, but it also is it more is. poetic. Kicks and giggles just doesn't kind of work. Yeah, so kicks. so maybe I'm wrong, and and, it, and shits more and giggles. Than kicks. Maybe shits and giggles wasn't the original, but I'm going to assume it was. And assuming that, 
from what we know in our day-to-day -day vernacular, there are plenty of other things you can say that sound much cooler without cursing. Yeah. Just, you don't have to say, pretend to say shits yeah. and giggles. Say like, my gosh darn tootin' rootin' or something like that. It would be much cooler. <laughs> my gosh darn tootin' rootin'. So uh, yeah. is, rootin the, tootin'. is the blackmail thing you're worried about that you killed this guy because he kept using this phrase? <laughs> Concern it. Hid the body Concern. someplace? Oh, uh, well... If I told well, you, I guess you, you couldn't would, blackmail I guess you, I guess. with me, you wouldn't be able to blackmail with me with if I, if I yeah. told you about it. That's a good point. Yeah. Well, I'm not much into blackmail. I'm not. I don't want to blackmail you. So, um, yeah. So if they did the if they did the ta transporter thing, they should have gone, should have gone all the way and made them look miserable. All like the they're. Way. You know, so there's two types of transporters. There was the there was your normal data stream buffer buffer data stream uh, transporter, and then there's the smoking transporters. They both. Well, they, that's, oh, that's, that's like the, the Gary, Gary Seven, Gary right? Seven, the Gary yeah. Seven, but they've acted the same way because it wasn't just some kind of interdimensional portal. It just transported him around just like a normal transporter yeah. see i think the implication before was that the smoky one wasn't a transporter it was some kind of portal to some other dimension or something well, like, it still could be or a portal it's to, a different it, way of essentially it could still be a portal thing. it might be a portal as opposed to a molecular deconstruction i, I would have thought business. of it i would have thought of it as a portal that only opens in certain spots but i just kind of made that up in my well, head. well i mean technically he did you know it did open up in in the apartment anyway maybe maybe that maybe that's a fixed spot anyway we don't have enough uh -huh. information to determine so i think it's time for another but, break and it's, it's not bad it's just interesting i thought it was interesting that now we have two in canon we have two in canon now that we can say this until yeah. the end of time we have well, two we've also got the, we've got the iconian business don't forget the iconian gateways Oh yeah. yeah. Well, that's once again a gateway. It's less a transporter. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, maybe that maybe the Gary Seven style is more like, like the, the Iconians, the Guardian of Forever, and shit. And you got the Guardians of Forever, Guardian Guardians of Forever, Guardian. Of Forever. All right. So uh, we'll take one break. No, we've we've taken one break. We'll take our second break, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and then we'll conclude our discussion of Star Trek. Picard, season two, episode nine, penultimate the, episode. The penultimate. Hide and seek. Blah, okay. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Be right back. Blah, 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 blah. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back already. We're back. So oh, that was a very nice break. Would you? Yeah, I took a I took a big long drink of water. Oh, oh I thought you were gonna make a, make a dump <laughs> joke. I thought you were gonna some say crude, something about your some feces. Sort of crude no. thing. Of, some sort My of fecal feces. fecal matter joke. Okay, fecal matter it shows what you guys think of me. Fecal oh. matter. So is. <laughs> Is being <laughs> so that's the sound of that's the sound of the digital fecal matter. Yeah. <laughs> 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 plop, plop. Oh, 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 oh. plop, 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 Okay, is <laughs> enough of that. It's yes. way too silly. Yes. <laughs> is not Billy Stop more silly than Billy? <laughs> Uh, too silly. Is so being a Borg. That's not a speech. Being a boy. So being a Borg, not uh, a boy. You're my a number boy. one boy. If you're a Borg, you're a species made up of other species. So you're not really a species. Being a Borg is like a condition to have. It's a uh, yeah. I'm it's I'm a, Borgism. Yeah. It's a condition. It's, it's a state of mind. So Starfleet is conditionist because they wouldn't allow Borg into their into their thing. I thought that was a very interesting yeah. uh, revelation. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, yeah. Because she's not even Borg anymore, but they they still... She got Borg bits in her. She got Borg she's bits. She's Borg bits, and everybody's got a super anti-Borg That was, is racist. Yeah, they are. Uh, the, because but there's nothing but new. But the Borg, you know, they... Almost. Don't forget, yeah, uh, but, it, it was a whole big deal for Nog to get into the Starfleet. Yeah. Even even Cisco yeah. was like, what, "Are you fucking serious?" Yeah, yeah. that's true. And Worf was like straight up, like, "You can't have a Ferengi." Yeah, and, like, uh, and Worf, uh, of course, was uh, the first Klingon. Right. Well, the I mean, the thing is, is they let Picard back being captain after he was Borg. Seven of Nine was. Mm. Didn't they? Didn't they un unborg her? Yeah, <laughs> they used Borg as a verb twice last week. I remember you've they been said un you've been Borg. unborg. They were saying like you ever been Borg unborg? They said, last week twice. Like once, Raffi was like, uh, "You're gonna Borgify them or something?" And then it said <laughs> something about being all Borged up or something. I don't know, but um, so yeah, it's all hepped up so on Borg balls. What, what is what's the, what's the deal with Seven of Nine? What's how much the deal? How much, with Borg? how much Borg does she have left in her? Not much. Well, now she's you know she's she a little more Borg than she was in this. At the at the very least, she's returned to her standard. Mm. I mean, they they at least put all the standard bits and pieces back yeah. on. Her. Yeah, she's got the eye bits. So, and the, 
Yeah. So if she had gotten Space the bits. she had gotten the I bits out, do you think they would have then? I I think it's just because in her history, I think then that, she could have joined the fucking Federation. I think it was they were Starfleet. I, I think the Im- implication was that her history was why they wouldn't allow her in, be, given that her history was as a Borg. But well, then Picard, you know, he was. I don't know. It's not worth. It's not worth it. It's not worth. I it. do think that you are dealing with. Uh, it's an interesting debate. But you're absolutely right about Starfleet because they have a history yes. of this kind of behavior. And it is it is an mm. interesting debate. However, the uh, fundamentals are slightly different. It doesn't m- change the debate about whether or not they should have considered um, Seven for star, you know, membership in Starfleet, given her experience on Voyager mm-hmm. and her demonstrated he- heroism. I mean, even Janeway went to bat stuff. for her. Absolutely. And, and so, yeah, that was a cool mm-hmm. you know, mention so of So it, it shows the, mm-hmm. it, yeah, that's the, what Janeway the, was up to. The yep. depth of the prejudice that uh, Starfleet was was uh, d- displaying. However, the the differences, the fundamental differences is that Captain Picard was a decorated Starfleet captain captured by the Borg, briefly turned into a Borg. Locutus Borg. T- uh, turned, Locutus. Turned, you you know, said it like Locutus. Turned back into Locutus. full full human being be deborgified because he was only a Borg for a short enough period of time that they were able to remove all the bits and pieces. And so yes, after a break of one episode <laughs> he really where he went and wrestled Borg. around with his brother, um, mm. he was able to return to service. Whereas uh Annika was turned into a Borg, I believe, at age six. Some, yeah, something like that. It's early to be Borg. Uh, and it's was bad news, always man. Borg. Couldn't, news couldn't Borg. remove a lot of the Borg Six. stuff because of how long it was in it's her. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I don't think that's justification to not let her into Starfleet by any means. However, it is a different set of facts and factors as compared to the uh, Picard scenario. Mm. Captain Picard. Fair enough. All right. Um, soon... He was your classic asshole smart guy leader with all the muscle. Yeah. He was like, he was like yeah. that. Was that of... Silly or Billy? Who was standing around with a bunch of uh, board? He was somehow like controlling the board. He was like, right. He was him teasing sta- Picard. It was a little Billy that he was standing in the midst of all of the sur- surrounded by soldiers all shooting in one direction. Yeah. And I'm granted they're Borg and super soldiers, so they're not going to shoot him. But he's just casually walking around. No, wait, wait, you said Billy. Do you mean Silly? I meant Billy. Um, oh wait, oh, I meant Silly. You're right. Silly. You're right. Yeah. I meant the Silly. Billy is cool. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Billy is totally cool. That's Billy. Billy is not just cool. Billy is a complex construct that combines. Mm. Uh, uh, good writing, uh, solid plot makes sense within both the lore and physics. And maybe, uh, maybe a little bit of camp, but only enough to make it more awesome. Solid, good. If it's campy, it's good campy. Yeah. Um, so he's just casually strolling around a battlefield, which I imagine you're not supposed to do. But so he's just kind of do that, and he's and he and he gets involved. He's like the leader. He's like dressed up like them. He's like, yeah, you guys, I lead you guys. You know. So yeah, that was a little. I think bit... the idea is that only Data's cool, and like everybody else is kind of a bozo. Like, like yeah, I mean, like like Doc, Doctor Soong is like yeah, they all suck. A flawed but sort of genius. He really but like his ancestors seem to be shitty. Yeah, uh, his other descendants are kind of. Eh. But okay. It's to varying degrees. But, but he yeah, did. Varying degrees. He took a straight heel turn on this, where he was all conflicted at first, and now he did the cl- other classic villain thing: is when you're all conflicted about the decision. Once you make the decision to turn, yeah. you're super, super dick about it. You're yeah. just like, oh, you hey, that, that tracks- you don't understand the future yeah. we're about to create. Oh, that card said yeah, that. Yeah, he's that tracks with the. Uh, they, f- they filled his head full he of says, shit. I'm told we're beloved across the galaxy. <laughs> between <laughs> like between Q and the BQ, but like it, you know, he, his head got inflated. <laughs> Full of nonsense. See, so BQ, so yeah, right. But BQ, it's understandable why she's all uh, all menacing like that. But Soong is, like I said, I just guess it doesn't repeating what I said. It's like, how do you go from conflicted to embracing it wholly and being like really pompous and cocky about it and being like, we I think, are I think what I was going to say is, I think it tracks somewhat with the whole uh, suicide thing, which is people's behavior changing once they decide to commit suicide. It, it, I think. There's, it's not a, I, I don't want to make a direct comparison, but there is some similarity in you are trading a, 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 a moral knife edge. So, and once you decide, you know what, I'm going to fucking go, go for it. Now you kind of have to be all in. I can, Otherwise you feel bad. So I can see, right. I see what you're saying. And I see what a, a lot of, this is a common thing they do in movies and TV as well. And the, 
I'm sure books, but I don't read those. <laughs> Where they, where they? Hey, this guy's got no time to read. Where they, um, where they do read the, books, books, um, watching TV books. and petting cats. Where, where there's all these things about the person is is a good person and they're good, 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 and then they get tempted by evil and the evil person can't make them evil. The good person has to make the decision to turn evil. That's like yes. the big thing. Is like once you yeah. make once you make that choice, you like can't... Darth Vader. Yeah. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Yeah, Star, <laughs> Star Trek. I guess it, I guess Darth Vader kind of yeah that was a pretty big heel turn though too but I mean it's all about the choice of like it's like people are being good and and they want to be good and they love being good I but when they be good. but when they finally decide to, to break bad I want to be well suddenly they're okay with it I want to be sedated suddenly they're okay with it and that I get that makes sense it's like you don't what is it something about vampires you got to invite them into your house or something yes yeah, so you have to invite them into your house and if you want to escape them you spill some rice or millet they, they're like so uh, they have a, OCD, they have an OCD yeah. oh it's like uh, about counting yeah right so they'll have um, to count all millet. of the rice so it depends on which which kind yes. so I guess it's like the the rice ma- will work millet will work it's like it's like the matrix couscous mm, it's maybe like, it's like what about what yeah, about um couscous. polenta um, See, polenta, couscous, I'm not, I, I would guess, yeah, but it depends so on how they- Who's going to sit there and count They polenta. might count okay, the aggregate. I'm sorry I brought polenta. it up. Clumpy, the clumpy bits might I'm, be counted as one. So, okay, I'll just bring an example of, like in the Matrix, when they say, he's got to walk through the door, he's got to be the one to do it, he's got to, it's like you can't make, you can't push this on them, they have to make the decision to want it for themselves, because then they'll truly be all for it, because they man, made the choice. fuck the Matrix, man. Well, I'm yeah, saying, oh no, have, but I'm, I'm just saying that's buyers, one, one example. One example. Yeah, it's it's another form of buyer's remorse where, like, to stave off buyer's remorse, you will ignore all the terrible, horrible thing that's going on I'm with the car doing, you bought or look, whatever. The, I don't... The point I was just trying to make is, is that if you're trying to turn somebody, you don't force them to turn. You right. make them want to turn. Right. That's all I was yes. saying. Yes. And once they make the decision to want you have to, to turn, reprogram them. once they make the decision to want to turn and they do turn, that's how you keep them because it was their choice. Yes. If you lie to them or force them, I mean, you can trick them, but if you force them to turn, it doesn't work. And so I guess that's what's going on here. And like you said, Patrick, in order to reconcile that with your brain, I guess you have to be full force about it. I thought it was a little. A little over the top, though. A little pre- over the I, top. I prefer the term whole hog. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the kind of uh, party I like. Yes. Okay. If, if they're serving the ho- a whole hog. The whole hog party. Mm, barbecued is, under is the a, ground. Is a happening. Or on a spit. Shinned it. <sighs> All right. That's once, <laughs> once again a point that not only took longer than needed to, but the... the it was broken up so many times that we were unable to piece together what was being said. I, I think I got Whole it. Hog. But I, I had I to think... explain myself like three times. And I think you did so eloquently. Uh, you, did it, you did it very well. Yeah. You and you tell it so well. Keep it was talking. a wonderful oh, story. You Keep tell talking. it so well. Keep saying it. I was yeah. talking about inviting vampires to the door. You were talking about couscous for some fucking reason. Was, I was just talking about vampires that was counting, right on, man. counting things. Yeah. Uh, umpir. Umpir. I can hear people changing the radio station. That's not how this works on podcasts. They're stuck. There's once no you station. once you click They're play, stuck. there's <laughs> nothing you can do. It won't stop playing until right. it gets to the next podcast. It's like a printer. It's like Prince. It was like a printer. If you, you can't if stop you call it. your printer Prince. Printer. Yes. It's like what's Prince. that? What's this from? Printer. Splinter. Splinter. That's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one. Printer. Was 1990, I believe. The best of the TMNT movies. We should do that. Let's do a double movie where we do TMNT and Fried Green Tomatoes. Double. Because they are, you know, similarly, <laughs> they're similarly located in the time stream. Uh, all right. Uh, any other... I, I, I don't know if there's any other major points. We might go into our odds and ends section where well, we um, talk about various miscellaneous bits and pieces. Major points. Unless there are major points that I've forgotten, which is quite possible because I'm, I'm, I'm noteless. You're noteless. I'm noteless, and I've only seen the episode the one time. Do you embarrass because you're noteless? Mm. So, okay, I guess. Well, the Rios thing, we don't know what Rios is going to do. I still think he'll probably end up staying. He might end up staying behind. Yeah, I don't, it's yeah. looking more like staying yeah. behind. I know yeah. I argued last week for saying if he was going to do anything, it would be take them with him because there's about to be a world war. He knows right. that, and leaving them behind for that kind of future kind of. I don't think it's very nice. But she was all like, maybe, maybe it was meant that you, you know, this is your he could be future. A, and he was like, a freedom well, fighter or something. You, yeah, it almost looked like he was like, well, wait a minute. I don't know if it's going to play out exactly in the way that I thought, which involved him being forced to stay back because he saves them. But I think he'll end up probably staying back. Like I, I was yeah, thinking. it's it's interesting to track this week to week. It keeps yeah. going back and forth. Is he staying back? Is he going taking them to the future or neutral? Is this going to part ways? 
Um, we'll find out. Presumably next crystal week. Ball. Presumably crystal ball. Crystal if only ball. we had a crystal ball for crystal ball. That's funny. No, it's not. That's funny. That's so. Fu- that's, that's so. so f- that is so. That's funny. funny, dude. That's so funny. Dude, it's, it's not really. It's just sort of. That's a, fucking funny, word, dude. Word dude, play. that's fucking funny. <laughs> I was like, I was like, how long is this gonna go on? <laughs> if I just don't say anything, <laughs> you guys just keep doing this <laughs> forever. <laughs> I love the term Borg Slayer. Boy, I'm the Borg Slayer. Yeah, I like that too. All right, so I, I want to be a Borg Slayer. Me too. Fuck those guys. Is it cool to be a Borg Slayer or a Dragon Slayer? Dragon Slayer. Dragon Slayer is way cooler than a boy. What are you talking about, man? Come on. That's a dumb question. Come on. I know this is a Star Trek podcast, but come on. I don't know. I don't know. How could Uh, you say that? uh, This is the future, not the past. uh, I guess the one thing we didn't really talk about too much is about this. uh, uh, What what do we think of this resolution of uh, the Borg Jurati? um, The Borg Queen Jurati uh, Mm, storyline. I dug it. In the sense that, um, I, like what Gerardi was saying, uh, and the Borg Queen was even saying, like, oh, yeah, that kind of makes sense, or at least it's worth thinking about. Yeah. Uh, I that thought there was, was cool. an interesting twist on it. And it's, and I think part of why that works is that's, that's a thought that people have had, like going back to the 80s, where it was like, while the Borg have these cool things about them, it's what sucks is the hive mind aspect mm-hmm. and the lack of individuality and the enslavement aspect. But that there, mm-hmm. that there's stuff in there that's cool about them. Uh, and so they're kind of bringing that to canon fruition now so, by, by giving them that option to try right. that route. So now, yeah, I wasn't entirely... Con- I mean, I guess, okay, I guess it makes sense that uh, BQ Roddy like, agreed to this sort of not giving people choice only because Gerardi was in there. That's right. Not just because Gerardi was in there, but because Gerardi was was making the argument. She was she was arguing with uh, not just logic yeah, but evidence. And that part I found a little weird. It's like I don't know if the the evidence is what that they're going to have a better collective if they give people the choice. Is yeah, that what- I think that's not the key. That's the argument. The argument is that uh Gerardi is saying that if you do things differently it'll be better she's making that yeah. argument right uh you can do one better. of the pieces of evidence she cites uh to support the argument that you have no choice but to change your ways is that she's like we both know from our access our joint access to the borg history and borg uh, information yeah. we know that in every timeline you somebody oh, ends yeah. up killing you and she's i forget the exact line but it was like it could be a lone so-and-so it could be the federation it could be the it and, was and, all those different like images of like yeah. Borg cubes yeah. exploding. yeah right <laughs> yeah that was fucking wild it was and and she's like what is that was so this? confusing so, at first. so yeah. she's she's stating she's like look okay. here's the th- the fact is is you know it i know it you can be suppressing that that image or whatever but you're you're saying we well, we have a quest to be uh you know not lonely or whatever same thing with you and also we both have a quest not to be dead because the board queen also makes you always I, try to run from that impossible thing death and it's like yeah so are you yeah. because mm. you, pe- you people are such pieces of shit you with all your business with yeah. all your wa- wagging your wagging your tentacles and shit taking over yeah. our brains uh that people get fed up with that and they get their shit together and they fuck you up yeah so you, let's you try gotta, a different thing a at the different very at least you might you might not even be totally convinced by it, mm. but let's give it a try and maybe it'll work out. Better. You know, I, I kind of like be better. I kind of like the idea of this. Yeah, I kind of like what that the implication of that. You've got this sort of almost semi controversial sort of group of people that I'm sure a bunch yeah. of people will be like, no, this is bad. No, this is good. Let's make a bunch but of like, sevens. But like, if you want to, if you want to like live forever or whatever, you can or live longer. You can choose to become yeah. a Borg, and then you have to have discuss that with your family. And you know, I like that whole idea. You have to listen to Queens who wants to live forever it's to know a, um, if it's worth. And they got to watch Highlander. And there's exactly. a they got a queen. And they have it a queen. That's yeah. the one. That's the other thing is we, ne- we have we learned. It's just an alternate way of existing. Well, have we ever learned? Well, right, exactly. I think it's, it's just I think a it's, different option. I think it's. I think it's an interesting option. And do, and do you want to be a Borg? Do you want to be a not? It's not. It's not wrong. No, I know. It's and, just different. Yeah, and so that's why you can bring up questions. Like you could have a whole TV series about a family whose 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 child right. wants to become Borg for right. some reason. Jesse, what's the theme song to that family? That 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 sitcom of that family uh, family of Borg. Oops, oops, we're Borg. Oh my God, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, oops, we're Borg. Oops, we're Borg. So the the Borg Queen, the Borg Queen, 
I, I'm, excuse my ignorance, but have we really learned much about the origin of the Borg Queen? No. Uh, what's the deal with I'm the trying, Borg Queen? Uh, what's the deal? I um, there's a li- there's some on Voyager, but I'm not remembering the specifics because I don't I don't no. think in terms of history, there's so much other than I I there I. I'm cobbling together memories that suggest some somebody made some comment about uh, uh, maybe it was the board queen herself, something about like the the need for a voice. Like, yes, we're a hive mind, but right. also we do need to coalesce into a voice for, for and, and a sort of a central. I mean, who created mind. the Borg? We don't know. Well, there's a lot. Was look, it the Borg or was a, it the Borg queen? Like, it's all a chicken. There's a long thing. standing yeah, right. debate. Or is it like control. Or? There's a long standing debate going back decades now uh, about whether or not, whether it was a mistake or not to introduce this idea of the board queen. Mm. And uh, I'm somebody who I, is it from first contact? Yeah. First contact basically is the first. Uh, Are we supposed, is it supposed to be, is it supposed to be a uh, Jurati board queen in first contact? The karate. No. Because now that's we've got a new origin story for the Borg Queen. They go off to the Delta Quadrant, yes. where they were supposedly. No, 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 no. That's not what's happening. No, they, she was talking no, about going to no, the no. Delta Quadrant. No. Yes, but you. This and is... that's in Voyager. That's where they found. No, weren't no, they no, from no, the no, Delta no, Quadrant? I, 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 I am arguing that is not what we're intended to understand has happened. I think what we're intended to understand has happened is that. They now have a ship. They are going to do this voluntary Borg thing. They're not out to go kill other Borg. I think they're out to start helping people uh, as the Borg Queen. Wait, who's they? Jurati and the Borg Queen. The Bukurati. No, no, they're not out to kill Borg. They're about to start Borg. No, the Borg exist in this timeline. They're, they they exist. The actual normal Borg exist in the 21st century. They're, they're, they're Borg already, have been around a long time. They're so there's, already out there. They're already out there. How long is the Borg supposed to have been around? We don't know. Well, we know they've been around a long time. They're they like any, they're we like the Klingons or anything. There's no reason to think they're anything different than the Klingons. Well, or they're, they're they're different or because the they were Romulans. they were created somehow. So no, we have never seen anything about the Borg creation. No, I know, but like, but they they're not like Klingons because they're they're not. They, you didn't just get born Borg. That's what I was yeah, saying. Yeah, they evolved over time. No, and but they're probably, Borg. probably probably once the first couple Borgs networked each other and they were like, yeah, this shit rocks. No, I so, think it probably went pretty that's, quick but after that's that. that's what I was saying earlier. Expo- it was an exponential <laughs> no, thing. No, what no, a planet that's, that's, that happened no, on. That's it was that's 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 to, works, No, that's directly yeah. in conflict. It's like a Tuesday to Friday no, sort of thing. No, that's directly in conflict with what I was saying earlier, which is being Borg is, Borg is not a species. It's a condition. No, but it started someplace. Yeah, so somebody probably had to have made them. And then that spread to other species after yes but i'm saying but originally started with no, some you didn't start well you didn't start with like th- thousands of uh, board maybe you did i don't know so somebody made no, these things and they no i think they this got is better this, over time but it started yeah, with, yeah it started on a planet around. presumably we, i think it's very fair to assume it started some people on some fucking planet some motherfucker was like i'm gonna put some digital ships in my fucking face and yeah then, that's what i'm saying and then and then he did it to his friend and yeah, they were and like this shit up. rocks yeah and then by friday the entire planet was that's what i'm saying and then the planet went and said, oh, we need more you, shit, and they went to the next that's planet. That's precisely what I was saying, and you were saying they started we, like the Klingons. I so I don't know why you're arguing with me, because, because you said why could that have not happened a million years ago, or 10,000 years ago, I'm not or arguing that part, I'm right. just saying it's not the no, same as... A long time ago. No, but you're just saying... Connected, you're, I, you haven't even let no, me finish the... No, the, no, okay, the, but, no, but, no, but... We're but talking about Jurati. Okay. You're saying they're going... You said that Jurati and the Borg Queen are going to become the Borg first of all, first of all, we'll get back to that point. We'll get back to that point. They expressly said they're not going to do that. We'll get back to that point, but at one point you said they won't. At one point you said that, <laughs> I refuse. That at one point you said they started just like the Klingons, and I'm like, no, there it was not. They didn't evolve like the Klingons. They evolved differently. Okay, you're they being you're, like the you have a, a narrower definition than me. All I meant was is they in the past the these creatures formed and their culture okay, formed. And and now we're getting to the time thing where I'm not saying definitively either way. I'm just saying I don't BQ have, they, Jurati, have they talked about it. The, BQ Rati. Have they talked about the Borg being created farther BQ in the past? Rati, first of all. That's the implication. Well, Forget about whether they talked about. They haven't talked that much about anything. They haven't. Well, they haven't specified when the Bajorians evolved or whatever their modern culture. So that's not a normal thing no. anyway. Um, barely know that about humans. Nobody cares. If you say so. The implication, my understanding. <laughs> thank you, Jesse. <laughs> is that BQ BQ Roddy, uh, mm-hmm. has the ship is now going to. Uh, they're going to try out. Jurati's suggested lifestyle, which is to 
cruise around, helping people out by at least partially borgifying them and forming forming a new version of the Borg. So there'll be two. There'll be two collectives. They're, exactly, kind of and they're going to call themselves something different. Borg positive. <clears throat> I believe somebody said the uh, the uh, subtitle said the Legion or something like that. Uh, so they'll be called something different. Subtitle. And then when we encounter them in the future. With the, that started this whole season, that's them. They're that's a totally them. different style. They have a different style yeah. ship. Yeah, the ship Borg, looks like it's more ish, but it's more. That's why they don't have a, a GameCube. They have an Xbox board. Precisely. Ship. Okay, yeah. that's why, okay. and that's what's going to happen. Who said Legion? The the subtitles. Uh, somebody on Twitter oh. or Reddit said something about oh the closed that. captioning that the closed captioning. Okay. Yes, that's a, a more appropriate. Term I didn't than see subtitles. closed captioning this week because I only saw it once, and so I didn't have. I usually yeah, watch you don't watch it. You don't watch with closed captioning on the first one. Not on the first one. No, yeah. only on the second. Only on the second. I usually one. only watch uh, lower decks closed captioning because I like I watch it at work. There's a lot crammed in there. Short. Yeah, there's a lot crammed in there. But I don't usually watch my card. It's tight. You get to watch it at work. To watch it at lunch. That's right. <laughs> it's tight. Okay, so okay, right. so I didn't, I didn't, I didn't say. Okay, fine. That's fine. That's fine. I will buy. I will. I will. Oh, that's oh, fine. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so they're going to the Delta Quadrant to give to show those Borg a thing or two about how you treat people. Yeah, I think, and it's going to take them a while. I think it's just yeah. going to. They're just heading in that direction. Okay. It's not like they're getting there tomorrow. Centuries. It's like seventy thousand light years yeah. away. Before we went on this tangent, we were giving our opinions on the Borg Queen. Patrick, you were in the middle of it. Do you were you for or against having a Borg Queen? Remember, you were saying in first contact, people were like, "I, I don't like having I, Borg I Queen." Often, I, I, I am of a split mind. I am. This is proper silly Billy, like Girardi and, Bo- and BQ. Your split yeah. mind because. <laughs> I have very much enjoyed a lot of the plot lines, including First Contact, etc., that have involved the Borg Queen I th- and, and on Voyager. I think they've been able to do some cool things with the concept of the Borg Queen. That being said, I probably would fall on the side that the Borg were more of an a inscrutable, terrifying menace, certainly. Mm-hmm. Uh, what other what whatever other sort of adjectives are necessary, maybe even better. Um, but that fact factor certainly i think was diminished with the addition of the board queen because mm, yeah. it was the hive mind it yeah. was the no responsing respond not responding to attacks you know that's no sort response of i always get no <laughs> response <laughs> exactly um, that that right. that was scary and interesting and you can argue i think successfully that they sort of exhausted some a, a lot of the ideas that you can do with that and to make to continue to have them be compelling you needed to make some adjustments to that i don't know i i might argue that i think you probably could have done some more and maybe by the way you didn't have to go back as often maybe you know i think you know as much as i liked seeing the borg on voyager and on enterprise uh, yeah i think I, they they drew from the they, borg well a little too much they, precisely it I, became like the main sort of uh, antagonist of, of the show yeah. at some point and it was like i going back in tng I, i'd forgotten exactly how much how long borg has been around yes. in tng it's been around for a long fucking yeah, time long way time. back yeah man. way back machine. jesse what do you think about uh bq having a borg queen well I kind of agree that, you know, I mean, it's something that kind of changed it all up from what your original perception of what the Borg was all about. Mm -hmm. But at this point, it's sort of an established thing. So I'm kind of thinking, you know, it's just that's that's the thing. It's like, okay, well, yeah, they they go to this alternate timeline and there's this alternate Borg queen there. And like it's, you know, I'm I totally accept all of that. So, right. So now in our uh, but I didn't expect any I didn't I was totally wasn't expecting Jurati and the Borg becoming B- B- Kirati and, you know. Right. I wasn't And so now, now I wasn't expecting this whole new vision of like what the Borg can do all in a positive, you know, Borg positive sort of way. Borg positive. So now we have a, an original BQ and an, a new BQ Rati who is presumably made up a part of the original BQ, but maybe not because it's an alternate yeah. universe. But it's I don't know. It's the, presumably. Ah, but part, the book got the they got the but get I still that trans time dimensional. I business. still don't mm. understand what the deal is with the Borg Queen and the Borg and and what it all means because mm-hmm. we just don't have the you know we don't have the backstory. Yeah, I would like more backstory on yeah. that. My that guess is there's probably it's, it's some very, good. It's just real. That's, I'm just real probably, that's not that's not up to that's no. not for Doc uh, for Doctor Picard. That's not for <laughs> Doctor Picard. Star Trek Picard to Beijing talk about. But I agree, we do need more of that. Dr. Picard. Yeah, and I'm guessing there's some stuff that can wet your whistle in the books, in the novelizations. Oh, yeah. Certainly some of the Voyager novelizations. I bet there's probably some good stuff. Did you ever read that one with the heart on the cover or something about it was like Picard and there was a heart in it? Oh, shit. No, I don't know. I haven't read much. First Best Destiny with 
Captain, Captain Kirk. Anyway, all right. Uh, um, any other points, odds and ends, uh, doodads and 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 memas, and momas, just a, just a, just a, just a few things. Quasar. One, which is, it doesn't seem, it's seeming less and like less like Wells is going to make a comeback. It seems like the battle already happened. Uh, I thought that maybe they would. Well, next week we're going to be dealing with the uh, saving Wells. the mission. And maybe he can help maybe them he can save help the space mission. Yeah, the Europa oh, well. mission. that would be that'd be cool. If, I would hope. I would hope so. Something because you know, to be honest, if Wells came in and brought his FBI soldiers to fight the Borg soldiers, like I was originally wondering, that would have been kind of stupid. Maybe he'll have to climb out onto the gantry. That would have uh, been Gary cool. Seven. That would have been weird. That would be a little silly. That would not have been. You think that would have been silly? I don't know. If, it's if, it's if cool got, when the FBI is fired. It is. Cool. He's fired from the FBI. How can he do that? Oh yeah, he's fired. Oh yeah, shit, that's you're a good right. point. That's yeah. a, why. So how's he going to help with the mission? Go because he still has FBI access. He's he still useless. has access to the files. So they haven't yanked his credentials yet, so he'll be able to help them. I think the he'll have to climb out onto the gantry, a la Gary Seven with uh, Isis the cat in um, <laughs> in that episode of TOS. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch for that. I'm gonna I, try to I remember noticed, that. I noticed more how uh, the the Romulan lady's apartment looks. Like it's got that Gary Seven like console thing. I, yeah, because because uh, doesn't have a isn't there like a little cube. There's like it. a cube thing. I think it's smaller, but there's also the Gary Seven style cube type thing. Yeah. So this is another one of my odds and ends. Oh. Is that t- t- speaking of Talon, like. So her super daughter was she a watcher type supervisor as well? Like, what? like you mean Laris? Laris, yeah. Laris. Super daughter. <laughs> super yeah. daughter. Like great grandmother. I don't know. <laughs> we still don't know. <laughs> That's pretty cool. We still don't know what the deal is super with that. Daughter. So we don't know. Yeah, we're probably. I'm wondering if we're ever really going to find out what the true relation that is. If there's anything, uh, like d- descendant. It seems like they just wanted to get the same people. Like. Like you were suggesting that maybe they just wanted a familiar cast. Maybe season but- three. We've already seen the previews for, not even the previews, the teasers for season three, which has already been filmed. It's got all um, those people in maybe, it. Maybe, you know, in, in next week's episode, they get back, fix the timeline, all that jazz. And then the entirety of the, the cliffhanger does not have going into season three is that uh, Laris wants to have Picard's baby. And Picard spends the entire season three like going to his friends, his old friends, Riker and War. You mean his number one Jordy. dad? <laughs> and he goes and he asks him. Is he fully? He functional? asks him advice on whether or not he should make a baby with Laris, make a robot Romulan baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because, because what does Laris this have to do with Talon? Is like in his nineties. Well, because Talon is Laris' super daughter. No, Laris is Laris. Is, I mean, Laris is Talon's super daughter. Yeah. So Super that's dope. what I'm saying is like Talon is there just to give, you know, to help him and give him advice. Yeah. Oh. But then the cliffhanger oh, wait, so is going to be so that wait. Laris wants to have Picard's robot Romulan baby. And so he has to go to Riker's house and have some pizza and, and stuff. Uh, and, yeah. and, and Riker will be like, go for it. And and and, and 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 Troy will be all like, "Well, you should search your feelings." And, and shit. <laughs> yeah. You think Riker is a pineapple guy? I sent some. Computer. You mean for the pizza? sex part? The for pizza. the pizza. Oh, I thought sex you meant pizza. you know for still, uh, swingers. Swingers like I'm, the pineapple. I, I don't. Symbol. I mean, I'm not gonna go there. I don't like. I don't like pineapple I'm, and pizza. I'm on board. No. pineapple for swingers. That's fine, but pineapple and pizza, meh. I don't have an opinion either. You way, can do I'm what like. you want with. It's fine pineapple. if you like. If you want pineapple on pizza, that's fine. I don't, just, I just, it's, nah, I'm it's not, not for gonna, me. I'm not going to eat it. That's your pizza. Um, I'll eat a different pizza. I'd eat it. I don't care either way. <laughs> I like anchovies on pizza, though. I, I wouldn't like I, anchovies on like, pineapple. I like I'm, anchovies. I'm fine with that. Anchovies, but, but don't put any fucking pineapple. Yeah, I'm indifferent. <laughs> um, okay, but I, I think Patrick, you make you make a strong prediction. I think is a very strong possibility that that will come true. But what, still, what does it have to do with Talon? How does that relate, Laris and Talon? How does that relate them together? Like you said, maybe she's the it's, great, 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 it's great, 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 assumed or presumed or whatever that, but, that they're she's a descendant of uh, right it is it's already assumed because we know that's that, been suggested no, suggested well, no, like because, no, be, no, suggested. no because talon no. there's no let me, let me just fucking say it because talent <laughs> talon at that one remember she had that super spell she's got an american accent <clears throat> listen listen please <laughs> thank you listen. everyone everyone i'm listening dan 
both of you, myself included. Tell me something, man. When she cast that spell to turn her uh, Romulan ears into <laughs> into human ears, yeah, right? It was a spell, wasn't it? And remember in that epi- and there was a couple episodes when she um she broke that spell and she was like, "See, I got Romulan ears." And Picard is like, "I knew you were a Romulan." That was the part that already made the connection, being like, "Oh, well, she must be related to." Larry somehow. I know, but if sort you know, of, yeah. you, you if we're being semantic, that's a suggestion. It's not evidence. Well, right, the fact that they right. look exactly the fucking same doesn't mean nothing. It means some. Trek. It's implied something. Oh, I'm just. I'm being. That's how TV works. I'm You're being, being obtuse. purposely <laughs> obtuse. Okay. But it is. I. It is logically well correct. It is correct that we we don't have yet any particular confirmation. Well, I mean, and but, but they're in fact related. And, probably and, they. Are. And let's say they just straight up said at that point, it's like, yes, we're related. How would that? How, why would why are they related? What does that serve to the plot to have? Why them- is why is the Sung family in, like in, 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 in the pivotal moments of of, of every portion of like well, modern? Like he's in the twenty first century, in the twenty second century, in the twenty third century. Like that Sung. Okay, so just so by up. that logic, Sung is a doctor throughout all or through the scientists throughout all generations. So through that logic, we could say that just like Talon is a as a supervisor, maybe Laris is a maybe supervisor. Laris is a supervisor. Yeah, I don't maybe. know. Maybe they will find it out at the very end of the episode okay we gotta wrap things up so any pick a pick a one or two last odds and ends and then we can uh do the zips and the zaps and get out of here oh the last main one i wanted to say was get um, out of here. oh aside from um borg q q q q q p q p q she hates being lonely too just like q she's yeah, I agree. everyone hates being lonely everyone hates, and q speaking of we'll have to figure out what what his whole deal is next I'm, week we've got some had some tantalizing clues in the previous episode nothing in this episode q wasn't even mentioned once i believe so uh we'll, we'll find out oh, next week but actually the last couple things i wanted to say was uh, Su- uh sung dr sung's when he p- picked up that gun and like and rios was like that's gonna explode you know so basically if you pick up a gun in the battlefield and it's not yours you may not be able to shoot it but you can use it as a grenade because yeah. you can just pick Seems it up suspicious and it's, that dude got the hell out but you gotta of time there. it just yeah. right. you gotta time it just <laughs> you might right want to risk it but you'd think they just make it melt or something yeah. but that's fair but there was actually a continuity error in this episode that i saw that you all, all right. can check out for yourself all at right. home on um, right. it's interactive right, right now you check it out when they're going down um when picard and talon are going through the catacombs and and he's like um he goes the left goes deeper in, into the chateau and the right goes to the fields. Mm-hmm. You remember that part? And then he went out a different way in the back. We, we, we went, they went out a different way in the back. But what you saw is when they said that, the camera was behind them and they were facing the, the place they yeah, were going to go. facing the camera. And from the right of the screen comes the Borg, the Borg laser sight. The laser sight that was green like the Borg was green. You know, and that the right laser was out to the fields? That was the field. But actually, that could be explained by the fact no, that No, but I'm Sung, not done. Was that af- before or after Sung found not, the hidden door? I'm not done, though. I'm okay. not done. All right. Because he didn't tell them to go find no, the outside I'm not, entrances. I'm not done yet. Not done. So you notice it came from the right of the screen. When the camera does a 180 and shows their face now, ah. it came. It still came from the right of the screen, which ah. would have been... I mean, it went, came from their right the first time, and then when they turned around, it came from their yeah. left. Or there's two people. And then they, from both sides, yeah, but only surrounded. but only one laser was showing at a time. Yeah. But, I mean, you, I guess you could argue that there were two people, but it seemed like well, lasers, then they should have lasers made, are something that I then, think a lot of people think are kind of silly. Right, they're well, not so billy. They should have. They should have made. I had a it, uh, if, professor if, that if, would, said laser, like LASIK. Maybe you were saying yeah, it like LASIK. Like what was, year was this? Uh, it was uh, back in the day. Was there LASIK back like then? Two thousand. So I would think if they wanted to imply they were surrounded, they would have shown both laser sights. Oh no, I agree. I'm just lasers. um just toss it out. There. And lasers. we're talking about lasers being silly. These were these were lasers. these were lasers gun laser yes. sights. But they were they laser were evocative guns. of the, the board. Yes, lasers. they were. They were green for no reason. And they're kind of silly in both scenarios because yeah. you're like, wait a second, these these uh, uh, crack. These crack guards keep giving yeah. away their fucking position. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> why, right. Is, why is it so smoky that we can see all these lasers? That's a good point. Uh, I, th- that doesn't bother me. I, it's fun. Anyway, um, so you can argue it away that they were surrounded, but I think like it was a, a continuity game. error. Yeah. All right. Okay. That's, it was like a video game. That's enough for this week. It was like week. a bright green. That's enough for this week because we're going to have to do a lot next week, I think, because I, I believe we have two episodes to do next week. We'll oh, probably... Man. We'll probably do two episodes. That's what we try to do when we're uh, when we have overlapping shows. Because let's just strange, do, let's just do one episode. Strange New World starts next Mash week. Mash it together, and then uh, it's the finale of Star Trek Picard. So uh, we are looking forward the to ultimate that. Ultimate, seeing how that all wraps up. Penalty. 
Uh, mm. I, I, while you're waiting for that, while you're waiting for more, it's got Star Trek uh, to come in the future. Uh, you can also the look future. back at our past because we've got 128 previous <laughs> episodes. It's the way as the well future. as some. The there's some bonus episodes the out there. The what, are, what are the blueprints? Oh, so scroll down the feed. What are the blueprints? Look at the website. Website is www.itsgotstartrek.com. Uh, social media is the the at it's got Star Trek, and we're on YouTube and Facebook and Apple. Spotify, Apple, iTunes, Apple. Podcasts, we don't have any video Google on YouTube and... as of yet, but we'll do some video stuff soon, probably. But mm-hmm. uh, uh, yeah, there's all sorts of you know all the things, all the uh, podcast. We're gonna make a movie services. about five dollars. Tell all your friends, uh, rate and review. Inside baseball. <laughs> do all the business. <laughs> uh, play some inside baseball, uh, <laughs> but don't don't break your mom's vase. Don't break your mom's vase. That's, don't break that's, your dad's vase either. That's baseball. Because you, cause you break your dad's inside. dad's vase. Because you put a frown on her face. All right. Uh, all right. So that's that's good for this week. That's we'll, all, folks. <laughs> we'll talk to you next week. Have a good one. Yep. Goodbye. There you are. I could still sense you in there. Still feel you chattering about. <laughs>